In this tutorial, we'll go over how to integrate Lottie animations into Google Web Designer to create interactive Google Ads. We'll cover setting up the environment, embedding Lottie animations, and adding basic interactivity. Open Google Web Designer and create a new file. Give it a name and set your ad dimensions. I already have a visual setup here that I'd like to use. To make this more engaging, let's add a Lottie animation. To embed a Lottie animation, insert a container element using the element tool. Select the tool and drag out the container you need. Let's name this Lottie so it's easily identifiable. Once that's done, navigate to your Lottie files workspace and choose the animation you want to insert. To grab the embed code, click the handoff button, toggle the enable CDN option on, and copy the embed code below. In Google Web Designer, switch to the code view and paste the copied embed code within the Lottie container element. Preview it to make sure it's playing correctly. To adjust the size and position, switch back to design view. With the Lottie player selected, navigate to properties and tweak the position and size values. Push the Lottie layer below the text and the button so it doesn't hide them. Perfect. Now let's push this further and make it interactive. If you want the animation to play on hover, go to code view and simply add hover before the player. Preview the animation to test it. And it works beautifully. To make this button take users to a specific page, we need to add an event and embed the URL. Right click on the button and select add event. If the option isn't available, make sure the element has an assigned ID. To do that, select the layer in the timeline and rename it. You can also assign an ID from the properties panel. Once that's done, right click on the button layer and select add event. Under mouse, choose click, then open the Google ad menu. Select the exit ad overrides URL option, then click the GWD ad button that appears. Here enter the destination URL. You can assign metrics and leave the other settings as is. Preview it and it works. To improve affordance, you can change the cursor on hover. Navigate to the components panel and drag and drop the tap area component. Place it on top of the button layer. Adjust the height and width of the tap area to match the size of the button. Then repeat the same steps as before to add the click event. Now, when previewed, everything works perfectly. And that's it. You've successfully integrated a Lottie animation into Google Web Designer, added interactivity, and linked it to an external page. This method helps make your Google ads more engaging and dynamic. Now it's time to experiment and refine your animations further.